Um, we got a great opportunity to get a lot of guys, a lot of reps out there today. Um, unfortunately, this because we've been inside a lot and having a lot of rain, this was probably the kind of day that you'd like to have practice every day. So that when you have a day like this, you know the players would be more prepared for it. Uh, but I thought they, you know, sort of persevered pretty well through it. Um, you know, I think the most important thing for our team right now is to focus on what we need to do to improve. I mean, there's not one player that played out there today that didn't do some things really well, and there are some things that they could do a lot better. And I think right now we want to reinforce the positives and get the, the negatives corrected. And I think an important part of that is every player can self-assess so they know what they have to do right, to get better. And um, you know, we have to be able to correct those guys and teach those guys and do the kind of things in practice that are going to help them uh, have a chance to improve. So uh, that would be the biggest focus that I would have, you know, coming out of this scrimmage. Um, you know, I, I think that we can have a really, really good team. Uh, I'm not disappointed where our team is right now. Are we where we need to be? Uh, absolutely not. Are we where we'd like to be? I think we just have to focus on what we need to do to improve, um, which I think probably every team in the country, if they were ready to play the first game right now, we wouldn't need to practice anymore. So um, we got a lot of young players and a lot of young and a lot of positions that uh, can certainly benefit from um, first time under the fire in action. Uh, and we had some older guys that played really, really well uh, in this scrimmage. And so we just got to try to build on that. We'll start on the far side with Chandler. Nick, you mentioned you wanted to, or you wanted to mention, you mentioned you wanted to get a good look at the special teams today. How did all the specialists perform and how, the kick, how was the kicking game today? Well, you know, JK was fantastic with his punting. He did a really good job. Uh, I think the punt and punt return uh, both were good. Uh, I think we got things to work on relative to you know, some of the other areas in the kicking game. Um, we missed a couple field goals. Um, we got a couple blocked uh, because we didn't have really good protection. So, you know, we, we really need to work hard on, um, you know, that part of it. Uh, kickoff and kickoff returns seem to be going really, really well. Um, but I, I think we have to develop confidence in that area. Not, and it's not just the kicker. It's, it's the protection, it's the holder, it's <coughs> You know, the whole operation being on time, uh, and we need to do a lot of work in that area. Come back over here to Tony. Good, hot day out there, and a lot of competition, as you said uh, yesterday. Were there any flare ups, or is there, is there an extra competition at all during practice? important things about being a team is, you know, players have to respect and trust the principles and values of the organization, and they also have to respect and trust each other. That means you play hard, you're physical, you give lots of effort, um, you compete like crazy against the guy you're playing against, but you also respect that that guy's competing like crazy against you, and the fact that he's doing that's making you better, the fact that you're doing what you do makes you better, um, and if anybody gets emotional or loses their discipline, um, then you don't have any control of what happens. And then you have cause and effect, right? Which, you know, we've had a bunch of speakers so far this fall, and every one of them, every one, I don't care what they talk about. I don't care if they talk about drugs and alcohol, I don't care if they talk about recovery, I don't care if they talk about sleep, I don't care if they talk about having an accident that ended their career, um, they talked about having a successful career. If they had talked about having an unsuccessful career, every one of them came down to choices and decisions that had cause and effect. So players have to understand that. You know, when you get emotional, you make bad choices and decisions, it usually has consequences. So 
But we want players to compete. We want them to be emotional and intense in what they do. But we never want them to lose their discipline and their poise uh, because that leads to penalties and bad things. So that's the consequences of it. And when you put yourself ahead of that, then that's not good for your team. So that's when you're putting yourself ahead of your teammates. So, you know, that's what we want our players to learn. That's how we want them to play. Uh, and that's certainly what we'll continue to preach so that we can play hard and practice hard against each other and not have issues. Email back with Ryan. The players mentioned uh, watching film of the Patriots. What do you, what, what's different about watching their film, maybe say, than say other team? And also, how have they been able to apply that uh, in practice and how have you seen them apply that? Well, if we put a play in that we haven't had here in the past, um, the way we always teach, what our teaching progression always is, is we show the players the play, you know, in a diagram, and we show all the adjustments, and then if it's a play that we've run in the past, we can use our film to visually give them uh, an example of that play. So they saw what to do, now they get a visual of how to do it. In some cases, some of the things that we're doing, they've never done before. All right, so if they did it at the Patriots, and that's where we have to look at a film to get the teaching progression where they get a visual of how they're supposed to run a route or how they're gonna run a play, uh, then that's just part of our teaching progression. So we still have some of our teaching film that come from the Miami Dolphins. 11 years later, because it may be one example of one thing that we want to teach that we have a good shot of. So I don't know what the difference is, but the purpose of it is to give the players a visual picture, whether it comes from our film, their film, or anybody else's film. Right in front of Mark. So Max, were there any injuries during the scrimmage or was anybody held out for any reason? Uh, we held two guys out. We held, we held uh, Josh Jacobs out. Uh, he's got a full hand. Um, and he may be out for you know several days, several, I don't know how long. Those things are difficult to determine. Uh, Najee Harris has a slight pull and he'll, he'll be uh, probably back on Monday. Uh, I don't know that we have anybody else that, I mean, we got bumps and bruises out there today, but I don't know that we'll have anybody else that would not practice on Monday. Stay right in front of Chris Washington. Uh, new offensive coordinator, how'd the offense go with Ryan Devil running things today? Well, I, I didn't think we had the rhythm that we'd like to see on offense. I'm sure he would say the same thing to you. I don't think it's a reflection on him. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, just the way it went today. I mean, I mean, you know, we've had good days and we've had bad days. And, you know, today we made some plays and made some really good plays. But the consistency wasn't what it needed to be in terms of finishing some drives and playing with consistency. And um, But there, there were a lot of good things to build on. Come back over here to Michael. With the new offensive coordinator right there, how much do you guys practice the operation of the play calling and the, uh, just the intent of the drum with uh, getting things called quickly? Well, we uh, we do it every day in practice. So, you know, we have team periods in practice. We put the coaches on the sidelines. We signal the defense. We signal the offensive plays. We call the plays, you know, every day. So, um, you know, that's, that's basically – I mean, how we practice. Now, when we're doing seven on seven or we're doing a group period, we don't do that. We're out there coaching the players and trying to teach them how to do it. Um, but you've heard me many times say there's a time, you know, I used to be in the middle of it, coaching players all the time, coaching them every play, in team period and all that. And, you know, Bill Belichick used to kick me out and say, let the players play. You know, there's a time when you got to let them play. I mean, you call it, they have to make the adjustments, they have to do it. So we get that in scrimmage, but we also get it in practice when we have team periods. And uh, it gives the coaches a chance to practice what they're going to call situationally as well. Let me jump with Alex. So I have a question for you. Um, how much of a benefit is it right now to have so much experience back in that secondary? And you know, a lot of the players have said they feel like their biggest strength is 
Well, I, I think that, you know, we have some good players uh, in the secondary. I think the biggest focus that uh, I have is trying, we have is trying to get them in the right spots. Uh, how do we match up the best? Um, what kind of depth can we develop? Um, that, that, that would be, you know, what I, I would be concerned with. Uh, it's always good when you have players that have experience. Uh, they're a little bit ahead in terms of you know, what you're doing, how you're trying to do it, how they can help other players. And, and I think their leadership can be instrumental in helping develop some of the other players and the younger players who most certainly are going to have to play at some point in time during the season. say these are the guys that we have to invest time and in try to develop to help our team. And I think those two guys are most certainly two guys that at this point you would say that's probably going to be the case. But they have to continue to show maturity and develop. And I'd like to see how they did it under fire today, what kind of poise they have, how could they execute with any kind of consistency. I um, mean, we had a couple of young guys out there today that went completely rat trap. They couldn't even get lined up. All right, so you know, that, that's all part of it. You know, that's all part of it. Now, maybe they'll do better next time. Uh, but those two guys are both two guys that have shown a lot of potential. One was here in the spring, one wasn't. Uh, but I think both those guys uh, are guys that we want to certainly invest a lot of time in this week and see if they can get to a point where they can help us this year. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you, guys.